You know, Fib, everybody wants to know, is there a possibility of, of, of you, you know, actually your son, your son wants to sit down with you. No, he doesn't. See, Solomon, you would call me. You don't call TMZ to say you want to sit down. Mm. Think about it, man. Mm. You know, you want some attention. You know? And it's okay. You can have as much of that as you want. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just like you, he, he, he's been trained to believe what you see him say in, the, in that interview, that what he was saying, he's been trained to believe that for a long time, bro. Like, you, you don't just wake up and say, oh, well, I don't believe what I've been believing forever. You know what I mean? Like when I said that uh, that he's entitled, really it's his mom's entitlement. It's been filtered. See, when I told you I was giving out half a million dollars a year, they go through the paperwork, they say half a million dollars a year. Well, at that point, she still was expecting more. This is why I took her to child support. You don't usually sign up for child support. Like mm -hmm. I took myself to child support because she wasn't understanding that they were already giving you more than you're supposed to get. Then when it turns into the 6,700, that's not enough and it's never going to be enough. Mm -hmm. But remember me constantly coming to you and talking to you about she don't want to wish she need to get a job. She didn't hear me. Yeah, you used to always say uh, he's almost 18. The child support's going to be up. It's going to be up soon. And you, you don't see it because that's not real to them. They just live in the moment. Like, and it's, it's fine. I'll take care of it on the next thing when it comes. The next the next check's coming in every month. Like, I, I don't feel the pressure that, or resentment that men feel with, with child support because I take care of it when the problems happen. Mm -hmm. Meaning I, I took... Nah, uh, bro, this is not the time for this. This is definitely, I'm going to tell you one time, bro. One time, delete that post off your page, bro, because you want attention right now. And it's not going to work. It's not going to work out how you think it's going to work out, bro. You want attention right now, bro. When y'all started posting text messages and screenshots and DMs of what people were saying, bro. I'm going to tell you one time, bro. Marquise, you don't want this problem, bro. Delete that post of your page. You you leaking my number? You leak my number, bro? You got people calling my phone and calling me and texting me? Yo, you really on some fed, yo. You on some police shit, bro. And and these people on the internet, it's not cool for somebody to post messages and, and, and DMs and stuff like that and, and screenshot them and record phone conversations. Bro, you on some police shit, bro. And I'm going to tell you one time, and this is my last time addressing you and talking to you, bro. Take that post down, bro. Hi, you guys. So, um, 50's son was trying to post a statement about his relationship with his father on his Instagram page. And in his message, he started bringing up the picture that he took with the guy, Supreme's. Now, listen, I am not from the East Coast, nor do I get off into all of that street stuff. I don't really care like that. The guy's name was Supreme. Uh, I believe he was some type of drug dealer or something, and I believe he's incarcerated. Um, now, his son is out here, and he took a picture with Marquise, who is 50 Cent's son, and he posted the picture and so 50 said he wanted both of your kids to get hit by a bus or something. I don't know if you guys remember that. I think that was like a year or a year and a half or so ago. Um, and so anyway, back to what Marquise was saying in the statement, he started bringing that up and saying how the guy contacted him and asked him to take the picture. And so um, he also posted the message from Supreme's son. And so... Um, it had a phone number on there. When I saw it, it was covered. You only see like 347 or something like that. Um, so he did not dox him the way that is kind of coming off. Like he doxed him. He did not dox him. Um, but as you can hear, Supreme Son responded. I guess people went back to him saying, Marquise posted your phone number or something. And he's kind of like issuing some threats of if you don't take it down. Now, I don't know. I'm going to go and check to see what's going on with that today. As of yesterday, Marquise didn't say anything, and the message was still up there. Um, now, maybe the son needs to read it and read 
and see it for himself and not take other people's word for it. I don't know. That might be the situation. Um, let me know what you guys think about all of this. Do you think that Marquise will respond? Do you think the 50 will respond, uh, especially with somebody issuing threats to his son? Um, I don't know. Let me know what y'all think in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video.